With the latest SwitchBot lock and keypad you can convert your door lock and make it smart. But what exactly are SwitchBot lock and keypad? What is the good and bad about them? Well, let's find out. I will start with the SwitchBot lock. The best part about it is that it does not require any modifications of your existing door or lock. As long as you have a thumb turn lock, you are good to go. And this is the biggest upgrade that the SwitchBot lock has to offer. It does not need any refit on your current lock to transform it into a smart lock. All you have to do is to stick the SwitchBot lock to your door using the 3M double-sided adhesive tape and you are ready to go. The SwitchBot lock has a three different thumb turn adapters that controls your lock to either lock or unlock it. It is compatible with multiple kind of deadbolt locks so you don't have to worry and you just have to pick the right thumb turn adapter. As a smart gadget the SwitchBot lock allows controlling it using your smartphone or your smartwatch using the SwitchBot app locally when you are at home. To make the experience even smoother you can additionally add a SwitchBot help mini in the whole picture that is sold separately and after that Apart from the local control already available for you, you can start locking and unlocking your door from anywhere in the world or using any of the most popular voice assistants. That is because connecting the SwitchBot lock to the SwitchBot Hub Mini allows easy integration with Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, if this then that or smart things. One more local control option of the SwitchBot lock is also worth mentioning. That is NFC tax. They even included some NFC SwitchBot tax in the package for your further convenience so you can start using this feature right away. Interestingly the SwitchBot lock doesn't come alone or rather it shouldn't be. It is evenly paired with a keypad that provides itself on being a lock match made in heaven. The keypad uses passcodes or NFC cards to lock or unlock your door in seconds. There is also a model that have a fingerprint identification sensor. But my model is not having such. Before I tell you more about the keypad, let's take a quick detour as I show you how to install the SwitchBot lock and keypad on your door. I will use this demo door that have this lock right here. It can even open like that. I can lock it and unlock it. This is my SwitchBot lock. This is the correct adapter that can fit on this thumb turn. If that's not the case, you can change some of the other adapters very easily. And I'm ready to install it. I can put the SwitchBot locks in every direction I wish, for example like that. This is not possible for this specific lock. And this position is also an option. And I prefer to use this one. But there is a slight gap as you can see here. So what I have to do is to open this cover like that. And I have to unscrew these screws right here. And this one, I'll use this screwdriver that is included in the package. It is very hidden, but I found it. This one. So I'll quickly unscrew these screws. Like that. Now I can move this. And I have to find the correct position for my lock. This one is okay. So I have to screw the screws on this second hole. Now I can put back the cover. I'll remove this. I can close the cover now. Like that. I can peel this off. And I'll just have to stick it to the door, like that. It is now ready. I just have to remove this protective film right here. Okay, 
I'll use this magnet now and I'll peel this off again like that and I'll mount it near the lock on the frame of the door like that. I'm ready with that part. And now I can go to the SwitchBot mobile app to pair the SwitchBot lock and the keypad. The SwitchBot keypad can be used by very young or older people who are not tech savvy. But I believe that all kids today are tech savvy. The SwitchBot keypad offers several ways with which you can unlock your doors using permanent, temporary, one-time and emergency passcodes, as well as NFC cards and optionally, depending on the model you have, a Touch ID. With the inclusion of the keypad, you can wave goodbye to your physical keys or even your smartphone, because the SwitchBot lock can be unlocked with just a password or the built-in fingerprint sensor. One great aspect of the keypad is that can record up to 100 groups of passwords. And this means that your whole family can unlock the door using different passcodes. You can easily set a temporary or one-time passcodes that will work great for singular occasions. For instance, if you are expecting a friend to come over or a package delivery. As a bonus feature, the SwitchBot keypad can help you hide your passcode so that people around you who are watching you would not know your real password. You just have to input a 20 random digits and your real passcode somewhere in the middle. This will ensure your privacy as nobody will be able to remember all of the 20 digits and their order. So, what is good and what is bad about the SwitchBot lock, in my humble opinion? First, I'll start with the things that I didn't like. The main issue for me is the lack of native Home Assistant integration. Please, SwitchBot team, if you are watching this, I'm pretty sure that very few people care about the native if this then that integration. It is good that you have it, but you will make a lot more people happy if you develop a good SwitchBot Home Assistant integration. If you don't believe me, check the analytics.homeassistant.io website and see how many potential customers you have if you make such Home Assistant SwitchBot integration. There are some efforts in this direction already from some enthusiasts and some SwitchBot devices are able to work with Home Assistant as you can see in this video of mine. But I believe this will not be the case with the SwitchBot lock and keypad as the communication is heavily encrypted. So, the best option here will be an official Home Assistant integration coming directly from the SwitchBot team. That was the first con of the SwitchBot lock for me, and it may not be a problem for you at all if you are not a Home Assistant user. The second con for me is that unlike the SwitchBot keypad, the SwitchBot lock is for indoor use only. I would love to have the smart lock outdoors, and I'll even try to build some kind of a weather cover. If I manage to do it, and if it is working ok, I will post some pictures in my written article about this topic on my website. I am pretty sure that the battery life will suffer during the winter, but I will share that info as well if I manage to mount the SwitchBot lock outdoors. Enough about the cons, let's talk about what I really like about the SwitchBot lock and SwitchBot keypad. As I mentioned earlier, the smart lock and keypad are super simple to install. Just peel off the cover paper, covering the sticker, stick it to your door and start using it. It is close to genius, I have never seen such gadget before and it is so simple and at the same time so useful. It is not a coincidence that the SwitchBot lock won a red dot award for this year. Once connected to your smartphone, you can go to the event logs to see when the SwitchBot lock has been used. This allows you to check what happened in the past on the days when you are not sure if you locked the door or not, and if something happened on that particular day. Another great aspect about the SwitchBot smart lock 
is that can be voice controlled. You don't always have to use your smartphone or your smartwatch to control it. Next is a low battery notification to remind you when it's time to change the batteries. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but it is a nice feature comparing it to an old Schlag Z-Wave smart lock that I have, which actually lack such a functionality. Speaking of batteries, SwitchBot lock battery can last for up to 6 months if you use the SwitchBot lock on average of 10 times per day. Inside the smart lock is a high quality motor with a long service life that supports up to 50,000 lock cycles, which allows you to use it for around 10 years. For some of you, 6 months battery life and 10 years of usage is very good. For some of you it is not. That is why it is having plus and minus here. Please share your thoughts in the comments as it can become a quite interesting discussion. Here are also some SwitchBot keypad features that I liked. The keypad has a local storage that helps you store all your passwords and fingerprints if you have such sensor. This way your secrets are not uploaded to the cloud and everything stays local and private, reducing the risk of hacks and leaks. Another thing that makes the SwitchBot keypad great is that it is IP65 waterproof. That means it is protected from all weather conditions. It also lights up when it gets dark, making it easy for you to see the numbers clearly during the night. Also, the SwitchBot keypad comes with a long-lasting battery that can work for up to 2 years. And another one, the SwitchBot lock and keypad are using bank grade security encryption that keeps them safe against intrusion. The SwitchBot lock and keypad are completely reliable and they offer a better and safer way to protect your home and make it even smarter. So, if you like what you see and you want to get a SwitchBot lock and keypad for your home, then be sure to check out the links in the description below to get yours. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching, I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking, bye!